Hi everybody, I'm going to be doing some drum demos for Crypt Modular today. Uh, here is the Steel Toe 808 kick drum and the Death Knell 808 cowbell. And both of these are being triggered by the Keyboard Warrior, which is just um, manual triggers. So first off, let's get a little bit of a closer look here on the Steel Toe 808 kick. Uh, it has four controls, as you can see, pitch, decay, filter, and level, and a little switch here for changing the clipping mode. Also, of course, it has a LED indicator light right here. So I want to start off by showing you guys the pitch range on this thing, which is easiest in the full sub-bass mode, which you can do on this. You just have to crank the decay all the way up, and then it'll go into sub-mode. Um, and then from there, here is the pitch range. crank that dial back to get back into normal mode. Now I'm going to get into the different decay lengths you can get on this thing. So um, here's like super short, kind of sounds like a hit marker from like a video game if you're into sound effects. Get a little longer here. Start bringing in some of that, that uh, bass tone and um, a little bit of that trail off. You get really long here. And then you, once you cross that threshold in the middle here, you get into the sub bass territory. And uh, that's where you're gonna get your kind of famous like. And then from there, this filter knob here uh, changes kind of just how much like distortion you have in total. And then if we flip this back down. So you're gonna kind of out of sub bass mode. You're gonna get like more of like a, a click with this um, up. So go back into the other clipping mode here. So you get more of that initial uh, like punchy click sort of uh, sound there. Um, I personally kind of like it down, but uh, you know, if you're making sound effects, if you're doing stuff for a, a certain type of music where it needs to cut through a little bit more, like a harsh kick, that's going to be useful for you. But of course, you know, it sounds really great in uh, sub bass mode. So that is the Steel Toe 808 kick and all of its features. Obviously level is just uh, volume, so I don't really need to show that off. But uh, yeah, really nice uh, 808 kick drum sound. Um, you can get some real crazy stuff going on there. All right, so moving on to the Death Knell, which is the 808 cowbell module. Um, this one has some features that's useful for Eurorack specifically, like tuning the oscillators. Um, that's really nice. And it also has tunable decay, so short, long decay, has resonance, and then of course level, you know, just for your volume. So let's start off here just messing around with the tuning. I think that sounds pretty good. So as for the decay knob, we're on short decay right now. Get longer here.
Kind of gives it a cool effect when it's a little bit longer here. I like that a lot. Um, for resonance, you can kind of get a little bit more chimey. You can start to hear it really right there. Yeah, and you can really hear it right there. Kind of get a little bit flangery, phasery ish. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. So that is the Death Knell 808 Cowbell. Um, not much else to see there. Obviously, level is just your volume control. So yeah, that is the 808 drum modules by Crip Modular, as well as the Keyboard Warrior. You can get all sorts of manual triggers there. Um, you can get eight different ones. Three up top, three in the middle, two on the bottom, and all these just correspond to their respective keys. So yeah.